The pipeline is built as a continuous tube that is dropped from the ship to the seabed. If the ship halts for too long, the strain on the pipe could snap it. The barge moves along at four kilometers a day and needs a constant supply of pipe sections, which must be delivered in the order in which they are to be connected and laid down. It's 100,000 pieces of pipe laid down end to end in a predetermined pattern. They get moved by crane three or four times and go through about 15 or 20 welding stations and coating stations. The pipe sections are delivered to the assembly floor deep inside the LB200. Here the welders are divided into teams. Their job is to create sections of the pipe called double joints. These double joint sections are 24 meters long. There's a lot at stake. The pipes have to be put together so there's no chance of leakage. And the assembly line has to keep up a steady pace. The entire operation is monitored by engineers who have video cameras that put eyes on the process, both inside and outside the pipe. It's incredible technology, but the, the fundamentals are very simple. The fundamental thoughts that go behind it because it has to be so rugged and it has to work every time first time that the actual basic engineering is still fairly simple the next stage of the assembly line is to join this short section of pipe to the main pipeline it's been fed out of the back end of the ship and onto the sea floor it's a complex process that requires a lot of fine tuning This is no ordinary welding operation. The process involves a special welding machine with eight heads per station. Passing through each of the welding stations in seven minutes, the pipe is then checked by an ultrasound machine. If a flaw is detected, it has to be repaired immediately before moving to the next station. The process cannot be stopped. The connection has to be perfect because this is the stage that welds them together forever. The assembly line is manned by industrial workers from over 30 countries. Shifts work around the clock to keep the assembly moving 24 hours a day. Each day, the teams have to assemble three to four kilometers of pipeline and drop it to the sea floor. After all the welding stations have linked the pipe, the final step of the operation is to seal the exposed metal. It is covered in a protective heat shrunk plastic. Without this, the steel pipe would corrode in the seawater. Now, for the most critical step of the operation, offloading the pipe to the sea floor. The section where the pipes are joined is covered in foam to protect the welded joint during the drop. The decks are cleared and the pipe is now ready to be committed to the sea floor. A rubber tensioner grips the pipeline and holds it in place as it slides off the barge. As the pipe enters the ocean, it begins to sag and pressure is put on the entire pipeline, which is free hanging beneath the ship. Without exactly the right tension, the pipe could snap like a matchstick. The pipe comes off the back of the barge in what's called a lazy S uh, configuration. So it comes off the, off the back of the barge and is, and is dra trails down to the seabed some distance behind. That S of unsupported pipe has to be kept from just buckling under its own weight. So to keep it under control, you've got to keep that under a huge tension to stop it from just collapsing under its own weight. As the pipe is lowered, 
the barge moves forward 24 meters, not a meter more. With this well-oiled operation, the LB200 is able to lay over 100 kilometers of pipeline a month, as long as the pathway is clear. And clearing that pathway is a complicated process. 